around the vaccine preparedness, we want to take you to our weekly segment, and that is the innovator. Well, the pavements you walk on by the roadside or at the malls, parking lots are normally made of cement mixed with sand. Now, picture this. Did you know the plastic bottle you just walked past today or the plastic tumbler you dumped in the dustbin can be used to equally create those pavers? Well, Katie's brand, George Otieno, has that inspiring invention on this week's episode of The Innovator. Some call them cabro, others call them pavers. Regardless of how you refer to them, they make the roads, parking lots, mall walkways and gardens beautiful. But imagine this coming from molten plastic mixed with sand. I caught up with Nzambi, the founder and CEO of Jijenge Pavers Limited, to get a first-hand experience detailing what it takes to bring this to life. Um, Jijenge Makers Limited is an alternative uh, building product manufacturing company and our first product line are pavers made out of recycled waste plastic. Actually, it was driven by two forces. So the first force is uh, me and my friends and, and my team. We are a team of young people and uh, we couldn't get employment. Or rather, we, the, finding employment was uh, relatively tough. But then the second one, which was the core value, is um, it reached a point we we started at, at, at some point we started collecting plastic waste and sorting and recycling, sorting, collecting, sorting and selling to other recycling companies. So we did that uh, for a period of about six months where we realized we are collecting more plastic waste than we are selling to recyclers. So we, we decided what more can we do with that plastic. So that's when we pivoted. And as puzzling as it sounds, Zambi and the team showed us how they come up with the final product. First, the collected plastics are sliced and cut to small pieces. After that, the initial mixing with sand is done manually. The mixture is then introduced to the mixing machine where the plastic is crushed simultaneously and mixed with sand and water. A final mixture is out. It is weighed and put into the shaper that creates a brick-like structure. The shaper is also hot enough to dry the plastic and sand mixture. Then a final product is extracted and we have the cabro or pavers if you like. Out of this innovation, Zambi tells us it has unlocked doors for them on the international stage. Last year we, we were fortunate enough, we won the UNEP Young Earth Champions, Young Champions of the Earth Award, the Africa region. So essentially that award is uh, every single year UNEP selects uh, seven individuals from different continents to, who, are, who have uh, done an outstanding job or rather they're doing an exemplary job within the environment space. And for us, uh, being in the recycling space, it only made um, um, it educated synergy and we're really humbled and honored to have won that award. The demand for the bio-friendly product has been phenomenal so far. It has been a really good reception. To make matters even more difficult, we officially launched the product in 2020. And uh, of course, with the whole uh, corona global crisis, uh, economically wise, it's also not that good. But for us, we were really fortunate enough that we got more demand than we could supply. So right now, even as we speak, our biggest challenge is uh, production capacity. We have a relatively low capacity compared to the demand we are having. And for every business, challenges are an absolute part of the value chain, and Zambi knows this too well. But thanks to her partnerships and training at the Pangea Accelerator, all the challenges are bearable. And her parting shot to all innovators out there. The future solution developers and the future ship, future ship uh, builders of, of the future, because for example, the core value of every business is solving a problem. That's the core value of every business. If you're, whether you're solving it in the health space or whichever sector, you're just solving a problem. And so we have to go back to the basics. And the basics is for us, we saw a problem of plastic waste pollution. And, we, and at the same time, we have a, a, a challenge as far as finding affordable building materials. As you know, construction, uh, being, uh, undertaking a construction project is not an easy and a cheap task. And so our goal is to use plastic, to convert plastic pollution into an alternative building product that is not only sustainable, but also affordable. <laughs>
Now, to think that a mixture of sand and plastic can be used to make affordable building materials is simply amazing. For the innovator this week on KTN News, I'm Brian George Otieno. <laughs> All right, interesting and inspiring at the same time. That is the innovator for this week. Well, it's time for me to pave way for our Swahili team to come and bring you the latest from across the world. But before we wrap up, let's take a look at the money markets. As I say bye-bye for now, until 